Hey everybody, Marianne Knowles here with Team Knowles Tampa Bay at Lightly Real Estate. So here we are in the month of June, which is so hard to believe. The year is just flying by. And typically for the real estate market, June going into July is busy for both buyers and sellers. The reason why is because depending on where you live, school has either ended or will be ending really soon. And a lot of families want to get into their new home before the next school year starts. So here are some tips that I have for both buyers and sellers. Starting with sellers, now knowing it's gonna be a busy month, you know that there's gonna be a lot of competition out there, so you do wanna have your home show ready. I've done a lot of videos in the past explaining what it takes to get your home show ready. The very first and most important thing that a lot of people forget about is that you wanna make sure you have curb appeal because when a buyer pulls up, it's the first thing that they're gonna look at. They're gonna look at the outside of the home and make sure that it's presentable. Now, when a buyer comes into your home, you wanna make sure that your home is show ready. And what do I mean by that? You wanna make sure that it is free of clutter. And basically, I hate to say it like this, but you wanna make sure that it doesn't look lived in. Sometimes buyers just really can't see themselves in there if you have a lot of your personal belongings and a lot of distractions in the way. You want to allow that buyer to really like sit on your couch, envision where they're gonna put a Christmas tree. You want to have them walk into a room and imagine that their kids are playing in there. You want to allow that buyer to really start creating a life in your home. Next thing that you wanna do if you're working with me as a realtor or somebody else is that you're really taking the advice from them to make sure that you're pricing it correctly. I know that as a homeowner myself, I take a lot of pride into my home, the work that I have done on the home, and I may think that the house is worth more than it actually is. When that happens, the home sits on the market and the buyer thinks that there's something wrong with it when really there isn't, it's just not priced right. So knowing that there's competition out there and there's more buyers going into the summer, you want to keep in mind to price your house right in the pocket of where it's gonna sell and bring in buyers. Now for buyers, you just saw a house, hit the market, it's perfect. It's in the best school district. It's on a cul-de-sac. The kids can play all day, all night. It is on a huge piece of land and you want this house. Well, guess what? Lots of families might want this house too. So you wanna make sure that we're getting into this house right away. And if you are going to be putting in an offer, you're gonna be putting in a strong offer right off the bat. These hot market areas do not have time for negotiation when there's a lot of competition. So you wanna first and foremost, make sure that you have that pre-approval letter. I cannot stress this enough. The pre-approval letter is like a golden ticket when your offer is submitted. They will not entertain your offer if they have to wait for your lender to provide that pre-approval letter. Secondly, when you put in that offer, even if there aren't any offers on the table, act as if there are because sellers again might want to leave to go someplace and purchase before a school year starts so they may not wait for other offers they're probably going to take the best one right off the bat not only that but please believe me when i tell you this happens all the time i could be showing you a home at 10 a.m and i may have called that listing agent they confirmed that there are no offers on the table and by the time we're ready to submit later that afternoon there's one on the table. It, it really happens often. So with that in mind, you want to make sure I have a lot of buyers that say, well, I know I can afford X, but I'm going to go in with Y just to see what they're going to say. If you are looking in a hot area with a great school district, with a lot of competition, you need to go in with the price that you're willing to offer and with the terms that are desirable for a seller. Now terms on a contract could be a whole other video and I'm sure I've done it in the past and I'll do it again if need be, but something as simple as finding out when the seller needs to close by could be something that makes your offer more desirable. There's a lot of terms in that contract. There's a lot of contingencies that you could waive altogether just to make your offer stronger. But again, if you are moving into a hot area, please don't be hesitant on your offer because you don't want to be disappointed at the end of the day. So. For a buyer and a seller, it is a busy time. If you need any assistance, just know I'm always here. Otherwise, we'll see you soon. Take care.